Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. In some of my previous video, I gave you tips and tricks how to edit photo, especially for maternity photos. And today, I would like to invite you to join and learn together how we can create the action of Adobe Photoshop CC so we can edit faster than previous. In my previous video, we still use the brush tool to maintain the skin color of the object. But today, we don't need it anymore so you can edit photo in one project more effectively with matching color. But before that, you have to remember, please adjust the color based into your personal taste. In here, I only give you the example of steps to create the action. And if you like my action, if you like my color, you can copy and you can save it. Okay, guys. Here, my action only work with the following condition if, one, you using the fixed lens. Yeah. Second, uh, the object are in the center of the frame or slightly shifted as long as not too far from the center and then third uh, please try the skin's object or please try the face the face of the object are very clear and bright because my action only work with the following object with the skin's object that are very white skin and bright skin only do you understand you get it if you understand my rule let we just start it. Let's begin. Alright, this is an award for me and my wife who are also pregnant, so I made this video special for her. And this is one of the maternity photos from my client. We will open it in Adobe Photoshop CC. In this photo, I use a Sony Alpha 6000 camera with a 50mm lens and available light. I mean snowflakes, okay? But the result a little overexposure. It's okay. Now we will start to preparing the action. Select Windows on the menu bar, then select Action, or you can use the shortcut by Ctrl F9. Next, select New Action. We can give the name according to our wish. Here I give the name as coloring one so I can easily remember it. Then click record. We start from the raw filter in the filter menu and you can follow my settings like this. In the fringe adjustment I change it a little so that if there is a photo has a chromatic abrasion, it can be automatically edited. Then, okay, next.
Duplicate layer by Ctrl G. I use blending option with soft light for this layer. Then merge layer with the shortcut Ctrl Shift E. Next, we go back to the camera row filter. Here, you can still follow my settings. Okay, like this. And for HSL adjustment, I only play in saturation and luminance. Alright. After that, you go to the Nick Color Effect Pro filter. If you don't have it, I put the download link in the description below. Yeah. Well, in my previous video, I have used this filter, but the order is different. You can follow the steps for the adjustment on indicator panel, or you can set into your individual taste. If done, click OK. Then add an adjustment layer with curve settings. Follow my settings. If done, add again the adjustment layer with the color balance. Follow my settings too. Okay. After that, go back to the Windows menu bar, select action, then click stop button. Here we have completed our steps and see the skin color is maintained so we don't need to use the brush tool again okay but next we have to try by using other photos we select one sample photo again still with the condition that I have given then look for the action that we have made okay click the apply button we wait for the results Yep, you can continue to use it on all your photos. I hope this coloring tutorial really helps you.
Okay guys, so you can click the subscribe button to support me to make another video. So see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.